Talking Jake here, and we are doing the top 10 and the worst catchers for the 2021 season. These catchers are being judged on offense, maybe mostly defense. People love catchers' defense. How good these guys have been recently, the past three years, and how well I can sing part of their name. At number four, it's Wilson Contreras with your Cubs. Is he getting traded? He's just really solid, and you can't say that about a lot of these catchers right now. Willie. Number six, Travis Darno with the Braves. He's been so good. Sometimes he hits cleanup for that team. It's been a renaissance for him a little bit, but Travis Darno earned it. Number seven, his name was Nola. N-O-L-A Nola. Austin Nola for the Padres. He's been really good. All out of nowhere. Didn't even play catcher. How about number two, the Yasmin, Yasmani Grandal. Year in, year out. Hits, man. He hits, does enough behind the dish. Yasman. How about number one? It's Real Mudo, man. Like, there's not a discussion right now. He's so good. He's back in Philly. Good for JT. <laughs> number nine, Gary Sanchez. You love to hate him, but man, when he's right, he hits like nobody else. Can he do it? He'll either be top three on the list next year or he'll be off completely scared. Number eight. How about in New York, James McCann? Speaking of a renaissance, he gets his payday. Really good defensively. Guys preach about how he calls games, and he's been hitting. Number five, Salvi Perez cheated on every test. You got D's, mother... D's. Salvador Perez, Royals, really good. Number 10, Sean Murphy, the first Irish-born catcher. And that's not true. Number three is Will Smith for the Dodgers. You're not going to sing Will Smith? Jake, come on, man. And for the worst catcher for the 2021 season, Zhu Wei Lin for the Red Sox. Went behind the dish for uh, .2 innings. Didn't even get to catch a big league pitcher. Just caught Ploiecki. So, <laughs> sucks. Tough breaks. <laughs> Tough, 